Good morning, everyone. Kathy Bacon here with What's Your Story? I'm so glad you all joined me again today and you continue to join me every week. I really appreciate it because I really love doing this and I hope it shows, but every guest I have on here was meant to come on and they have a story to tell. And their stories sometimes start from tragedy to success. Sometimes they start just by the pure fact of living their life and finding out what's needed in the world. There's so many ways that people tell their story and none of them are right or wrong. And in this broadcast, there is no judgment. There's no judgment about anyone's story or what they did or didn't do. We're not here to judge. We're just here to have a moment in time with people that are willing to tell their stories. And I, for one, am very, very honored to be able to use my voice to get yours all out into the world. Today, I have two special guests. They are, I've known them for quite a while, and I've known Denise a lot longer than her husband, but only because she gave her time and love and spirit to an organization that I ran for a few years. And that's how I got to know Denise. She's always been thoughtful and loving and kind. And her husband is lovely as well. He and I and my husband and Denise happened to cross each other one evening I think it was at the Thin Man. You'll have to correct me if I'm wrong, Denise. And we sat and talked, and it was like we'd known each other for a while. So these are the kind of people that Denise and Shane are, kind, loving, awesome people. I want to tell you a little bit about them before they come on. They reside in Astoria, Oregon. Both are small business owners and partner to build one another's respective ventures. Land and Wire provides business telephone systems and networking for the Northwest Coast community. Shane has 20 years experience in the telecommunications industry and brings his knowledge and a genuine and helpful approach to every job he goes on. Denise has worked as a professional in the creative industry for over 15 years. She's an entrepreneur, creative director, photographer, writer, producer, publisher, digital graphic artist, and fine artist, and I've run out of breath because, wow, that's a lot. And Denise and Shane, they've been married for 18 years. After enjoying time in Denver, Portland, and Austin, they are excited to have found a home in Astoria. Born and raised in Colorado, they have a love for nature, and find themselves outside as much as possible. They have recently partnered to write Project 128, a relationship workbook that is filled with activities that are fun, creative, sexy, heartfelt, and loving in hopes to bring already great couples closer together without any expectations, they, of right or wrong, way to approach your partnership. So let me read that one more time. Without any expectations or assumptions of a right or wrong way to approach your partnership, Project 128 offers you a workbook of eight activities that encourage exploration of eight core concepts, and when explored and implemented, will improve your all overall satisfaction in your partnership. What could be better than that, right? So all this information and much more is on my website at www.kathybacon.com. I do a whole page on each guest and all the past guests that come on the show. So please have a look there and you will see um, more information about Denise and Shane. So without further ado, I would love to introduce you to Denise and Shane Fattis. And there they are. Hi. Hi. 
<laughs> so so great to see you guys. I've been yeah, looking forward too. looking forward to this uh, interview all week because out of the blue, you've come with surprises. Like I thought we would talk about Land and Wire a little bit, or I thought we'd talk about the creative side that Denise has, and but no, we are talking about something totally different that's going to really take couples by storm, I think. So tell us about this book. Okay, so um, it's called Project 128, which stands for um, One Love, Two People, Eight Weeks. So um, the idea is just that it's a really practical, fun workbook of eight activities that you can do with your partner um, to kind of explore your relationship, um, take time to commit to one another and invest a little bit of time to your relationship since everybody's so busy and um, just have some fun. Yeah, well, it seems like you guys, you know, kind of make that happen. I see you guys on Facebook all the time. You're doing this, but, and you're doing that and you're, I know you're working in between, but then you're out on the beach with your dog. So, I mean, yeah. it shows that what you're doing, you're making time for each other and other things in life except for work, which people aren't doing so much of, you know? Right. Yeah, really, that's what it's about. It's just a chance for people to, you know, sort of put those things aside for eight weeks and just sort of focus on their relationship and, um, you know, in a lighthearted and fun kind of way and not any kind of um expectations or judgments all just very uh lighthearted but also with intention yeah it's not i mean it's not a self-help book and we're obviously not marriage counselors and that's not what we do this right. is just i mean we've um been together we got together when we were really young and we knew that we loved one another but that's kind of all we knew <laughs> yeah yeah but when yeah. you're young, that's all that matters, right? Yeah, right. well, I mean, it is. And, but then, then you realize you have to learn how to talk and you have to figure out how to be each other's partner and how to be each other's support system and how to deal with all of the adversity and everyday complications of life and challenges that come. And we, um, you know, we've been lucky enough to be surrounded by some really amazing couples. And so um, we've had really good examples and we just have to kind of learn as we go. And that's really what this book is about, is the idea that it's a constant exploration and we kind of equate it to no different than working out, that if you didn't work out for five years or you only worked out once a month, you wouldn't expect to be in very good shape five years from now. So it's right. the same idea that if you don't take time for your relationship that uh, it can't really grow. And since we all change, you kind of have to keep at it all the time. Yeah, and we really tried to write it in that regard as far as, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter if you've been together for two months or for, you know, 30 years, that it, there are things that you can continue to do. You could do it over and over again. Uh, I think still find new, uh, new discoveries in your relationship or your partnership and uh, yeah sure. because we all get older and we do change you know i've changed a lot from the age of 25 to 59 i've yeah. changed a lot you know yeah. my thinking yeah. about yeah. certain things you know so <laughs> the same with marriage or in a relationship you know things do change and you sort of have to look at those and not ignore them <laughs> because yeah. all of a sudden you don't know your partner anymore who is that you know we've changed so much and you know we'll be married 19 years this august wow. and i mean we've been through so much together and that's kind of what's forced us to keep growing and to keep challenging ourselves and keep questioning like is this the right relationship and if it is then i need to you know i mean put the time in and make sure that we're still functioning in a way that feels fun and um yeah and it's really you know our intention for it was to really just add um you know a positive way to add love and positivity to the world and that can just be, you know, that can be a romantic relationship, which this workbook really is about, is a romantic relationship, but 
it's, you know, some of the ideas behind it could certainly apply to any relationship and just right. understand how to communicate. So, yeah, and that's, that's awesome. I, I really love that you guys are doing this because you are a pretty good example of a long-term relationship and growing and changing because I've watched you, Denise, over the years grow and change and, and, you know, so, you know, these in your well. So did you, you know, the process of writing this book, was it what you expected? Did you, did you find things that you really were going, oh my gosh, you know? Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it was, uh, what we expected as far as, you know, we knew it was going to be a lot of work and it was a lot of work and it also, um, you know, Oops. right. Oh. Did we lose you? Are you there? <laughs> Great. Kathy, can you hear us? Everything good? Oh, no. can you can, can you, you hear us? Yes. We lost you on oh, this okay. side. Kind of still. <laughs> it's okay. okay. You went okay. still for a minute, but I I've been here. It's okay. 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 This awesome. is Facebook yeah. Live. We can do anything. Let's just keep going. Okay. Cool. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, yeah, like Shay was saying, it's been we knew it would be a lot of work, but there's, you know, yeah. And things that I mean, we're, we never wrote a book before, so it's just like anything we've done. We, we knew we wanted to do it. We've been talking about it for the past five years, just ideas. And we didn't want to be the people that said we could do this. Or we're going to do or, this. Yeah. You know, we're going to write a book one day. You know, we just finally yeah. said, you know, <laughs> yeah. days today, yeah. and we started. You know, yeah, so. and, and it's been... <laughs> It was really easy to come up with the concept of the book, but just like anything, that's the easy part. The hard part is forcing yourself to take the time out of your week on top of work and on top of everyday activities to actually spend, you know, five hours a week writing together. And um, so that's been a lot of work and just learning about self-publishing, which is what we're doing. Um, and, and all of that has been a challenge too, and kind of more to it than meets the eye. So um, that's kind of where we're at right now. We've already finalized the the book itself, but now we need to still finish the design and get everything ready to go and um, ready for Kindle and all that good stuff. So that's still a learning process. Well, you'll have no problem with that. You'll have no problem with the design. Are you kidding yeah, me? Right that, now? That'll be fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'll be amazing, I'm sure. I can't wait to see it. So, I know the answer, but maybe the audience doesn't. And why do you think that you two are suited to write a book like this? Uh, We're not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're not, we don't have to do right? <laughs> I don't think that we're any more suited than anyone, really. Uh, I think we just were inspired <laughs> to do it. And, uh, we're just hopeful that you know it'll help people to communicate better. Like we said, we tried to um, we tried to approach the chapters with intention, but also kind of leave them general so that people can uh, adjust as they need to. You know, it's all about uh, finding your own happiness or making it work for you. So if if you need to, exactly. you know, adjust the activity or the time frame of the activity, you know, it's that's up to you to do. So yeah, I mean, we really we. To the concept to take responsibility for your own happiness a lot in the book because it's definitely something that we live by and um and implement and the idea is these are just ideas to get you communicating neither of us are actually really good small talk people we never have been but we've always mm -hmm. loved real genuine you know heartfelt raw conversations and those are easy for us so we always have appreciated the idea of like games or things that get you talking. And so right. that's why we came up with this. It's like, it's not about how to do it. And it's not about like a judgment of what you're doing or who you are as a partner. It's just ideas to get you to explore your relationship and have some fun together. And it's just, it's just a positive practical guide is what it is. Mm -hmm. And, um, and that way it's just, it keeps it fun. And like, like Shane was saying that if something doesn't suit you or your partnership, then 
change it up or do it a different way. You know, don't complain that this isn't a great idea. Instead, figure out how you can use our concept to work for you. So, right. So, can you tell me just? I've heard little bits and pieces, but can you tell me a little bit about it? Is it like, um, is it designed to go over a course of time or yeah. without spilling the beans? Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a, it's a workbook that's based on eight activities that are designed to do over eight weeks. And, uh, we've, We've wrote them in a specific order um, right. so to sort of help keep the activities and the weeks balanced, you know, to where, you know, if one week is sort of a little emotionally hard or more time consuming, hopefully the next week will be, yeah. you know, less so or more fun. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, it's. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, and you know, it's, it's eight weeks and it's something that, um, you know, in some chapters, there's some things that are a little more intense. So it's like, if you needed to do two weeks to do it, great. But the concept is that you would maybe meet on a Sunday, I don't know, whatever day works for your schedule and read the chapter together and go over the activity. And then you implement the activity, however it explains for the week. And then you meet back up the following Sunday um, and do the next activity. So it's just, I mean, it's just carving out a little bit of time to um, explore some things together and, and just have like a positive fun. We're just kind of your fun guides through that eight weeks. So Yeah, and I it's really that. something to keep your mental focus on your partner for that period of time, you know, just to where during the week where you normally, you know, would be thinking about, oh, you know, what's the football game this weekend? Instead, you might be thinking, you know, what am I going to do? do for this activity for my partner this weekend. Or both. So, you can find right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love it. No, I think it sounds wonderful because, you know, like we all know, and, and not so much for me now, but when I was living in the States, everybody's so busy and it's go, 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 run, 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 be here, be there. I've got to do this. I've got to do that. And then you pass each other in the night when you're going to bed, you know? Yeah. Oftentimes. And it's like, what's your name again? <laughs> so, you know, so yeah. I love the I love the idea of carving out time for each other and really hunkering down and looking at an activity that could be fun or maybe it's an activity like you said that could be emotional because sometimes we mask those right. We mask that yeah. emotional stuff because we don't want to talk about it and. So I really I love this idea of, of an eight week little okay we're gonna we're gonna do the project one two eight now I got the book. <laughs> totally. yeah. and, I mean and that's exactly what it, it, it is it's carving out some time and just making that commitment and um, and like it, it's exactly like you said and we were saying there's a real balance and there's a method to our madness of so the eight activities um are really in line with our our eight things kind of the way we approach our relationship and why it's been successful and so those eight things are you know kind of built into the eight activities so those concepts right. are explored through the activity and mm -hmm. um like what shane was saying some some might be a little bit more challenging but most of them are still pretty lighthearted and fun but we've kept the balance where it kind of goes back and forth so it keeps right. it keeps it easy it's not I mean we didn't want anything we knew with we wanted to set our intention when we started it that we didn't want it to feel um you know judgmental of any way or anything other than fun and um and that it could apply to like any kind of relationship ultimately like any kind of partnership romantic partnership yeah we don't really want to seem like a self-help book in any kind of way or where you're like you know this you know exploration of this deep concepts or anything it's more just uh um, a guide to like i said you know help you stay mentally focused on your partner for two months yeah you know? which is not very long when you think about it <laughs> right. <laughs> right. okay can you give me two months 
<laughs> just give me two months and we can make this last a lifetime, okay? <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's so fantastic. No, because, you know, there's so many self-help books out there, like you say, Shane. I mean, I think I've read every single one of them. In fact, I had a counselor say to me once, Kathy, you have every single self-help book on your shelf. Now <laughs> it's time to put it into action. <laughs> oh, really? The light bulb went off. I mean, it's, so, it's so perfect you say that because I would say that action is the perfect word to really describe our approach and our intention is that we're those people that it is about action like you can say you want to do things or you can read about a good relationship but unless you're actually doing it and putting in that time and taking those actions and this is just like I would say this is just um kind of a it's like a, a positive little like hold your hand to walk you through some of these concepts so it's like an icebreaker in some ways right. that you can have these conversations. Well and it's always nice to me to listen to someone that actually has put these into action and know they work instead of someone that's gone to school and has written out everything for me to do. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So when you want to know about something or you see a couple that you go, wow, look at their relationship. Oh, I wish my relationship was like that, <laughs> you know? And, and then you are able to go kind of into what they do or what they tried and it's work for them. It's really a nice, that's to me, I would buy a book like that more than I would buy a book from a professor that maybe is just talking about what you should do. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, because it really is based on a lot of the things that we've learned over the, you know, course of our relationship. And, you know, like Denise was saying before, you know, we had the basis of love and passion and all that, but uh, we really didn't know how to communicate when we first got together. And it caused for right. a lot of, uh, you know, fights right. and struggles and, you know, contention. And we were able to figure out ways to work it out. You know? Yeah. And we, yeah, and we talk about that too. It's like, we didn't write this because we're the perfect couple. There's no perfect couple. We wrote this just because we have to learn and continue to learn. And we've had our share of adversity and challenges and we've helped raise each other in a lot of ways. And people who right. get together know that. And like, we've helped, you know, we've grown up a lot together and we've had to um we've had to make time for it and if and if we say this in the book too like if we stop making time for us we could be in trouble just like anybody else i mean it's not there's yeah. no secret recipe we're not any different than anybody else or you know more in love i mean i've noticed that repeatedly that it's never it's hardly ever that there isn't love in a relationship it's usually just that we get so distracted i mean it can become like right. roommate like you were saying with everything that's going on. And you know, we also completely are cognizant and acknowledge the fact that not all relationships work. And this isn't about like make it work and at all costs. This isn't that at all. This is, you know, we know that there's some relationships that are better off and healthier if you separate and there's no judgment in that at all. It's just this idea right. that if you do want to work on your relationship, these are just some ideas that we have to, to explore. Yeah. yeah. And like you were saying earlier, you know, everyone continues to evolve in their personality and their thought process and their uh, opinions about things as they get older. And so, you know, it's important to keep revisiting, you know, yeah. that communication level as a partnership so that the individual you and the individual other person can continue to, <laughs> you know, yeah. To like you still. Oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, I love this. I just think it's it's just so masterful. It's just so well thought out by both of you. I just think it's it's really awesome to see you two. Um, because, you know, Denise, I've known you for a while. And, and you know, your relationship, even in those days, was first and forefront. But you, like you both said, you've been together for such a long time that a lot of times if you don't connect, then like you said, what's the point? It becomes a roommate situation. Mm -hmm. And whether you're willing, and this is another thing, is a lot of people just, it's so easy to say, ah, screw it, you know, nah, it's not working out. 
-hmm. when in fact you still love each other you still care about each other and it's too much work to make it work so i'm just gonna say you know <laughs> and, <laughs> you know and and it's really sad that that happens we're so free to do that in the world we live in today so it's nice to see something that isn't so you better do this you better do that you better do this and you got to do that and yeah. if you don't then this is not going to work right and people get tired of being cold right <laughs> exactly you know <laughs> don't tell yeah. me how to run my life don't yeah. tell me how to have a relationship totally so, it, it's not that at all it's just like they're like i said it's just ideas and icebreakers to communicate yeah. Yeah, I just love that. We all know that relationships are work, but if you can find fun ways to approach the work to where it just seems like, you know, hey, this is pretty fun, or yeah. this is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Putting yourself. And we well, work hard to make it feel like to be that way. Like, right. you're learning these things, but in this way that's kind of sugarcoated, I guess, yeah. and makes it like, so it's, it's like, you're exploring these concepts that are really healthy, but you're also getting to do them in a really fun way, we think. Yeah. And, and you know, too, some people don't know how to have fun. I hate to say that, no offense to anyone out there, but <laughs> when, in fact, you get to do something fun, it might be out of the, your comfort zone a little bit. So, you know, who, you know, who are the specific couples that you're, really geared towards in this book? Good. Um, well, I mean, really, it could be. You go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. What? <laughs> you guys are really good about oh. taking turns. You're yeah. really good about taking turns. <laughs> I love it. Um, oh. I mean, anybody, I mean, any partnership. You don't have to be married. It doesn't matter if you've been together a short amount of time or a long amount of time. Um, it, you know, it's not about that. It's just two people that are in love and want to explore this. So there's no, there's no particular type of person. I mean, we do write a few things at the beginning of the book that we say, like, you should do this project if, and it's a lot around those concepts of like, if you're somebody who's open to new ideas, if you're a couple that wants to explore new concepts together, if you like having fun together, like, this isn't for like, grumpy jerks that are just going to judge and be like, I don't want to be a part of that. Or like, it's for people yeah. who are like excited to try something new and to just explore and have a good time. That's what it's about. So like, if you're someone yeah. who's just going to nitpick or look for ways to not make it work for you, then you're not the right reader. But if you're someone who's positive yeah. and new ideas and knows how to take responsibility for your own happiness. Well, <laughs> and, and hopefully Bingo. if you're, People that are exactly right and hopefully if there's people that are sort of on the fence or maybe in the middle or like i don't know you know hopefully the book will um help them break down those paradigms and you know that can come from a new place uh that's not so judgmental or like guidelines of a relationship or something yeah. like that you know so hopefully you know if there are people that are like kind of skeptical that as they do the book, hopefully they'll come around and be like, oh yeah, it really is fun, you yeah. know? And it'll sort of break down those paradigms of, you know. Yeah, of what a relationship book is. Cause we, honestly, to be really honest, we've never read a relationship book and we've yet to go to counseling, which someday we still might. But, um, so we don't really have a place, we didn't have like a starting place. So it came just from the heart. So we don't really know what other relationship books are like. So we're not sure if, this one is like other ones or not because we didn't want to we didn't want to like right, skew right. what we we know or what we've learned by what else is out there so i'm not sure how original or unoriginal the concept is but right we, didn't, we don't really have anything to compare it to one thing that was kind of fun is after we had like the meat of the book done and had wrote it um we reached out to couples that we knew that we thought were awesome couples and happy and we asked them or you know just a small piece of advice and right, it was really right. cool to see that like everyone that came back their advice was totally in line with what we had presented in project on two eight yeah in one place or another yeah like, like it, that it, there was something whatever they said that applied to some part of the book and so we felt like oh awesome we actually maybe hit on some really good points that other happy couples are 
have explored as well. So we felt really good in that, that, okay, well, maybe it totally isn't out of left field and we do know a little bit about what we're talking about. <laughs> well, right. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's your reality. It's no right or wrong. This book yeah, isn't exactly. right or wrong in any way, shape or form. It's just, okay. if it appeals to you and it sounds like you have couples in your life that are really doing the same things or not thinking the same way that you are about relationships. And I, I mean, what could be better than that, in my opinion, you know? Um, and, and also like it, there's people middle age or older that their kids have left and now they don't know what to do because mm -hmm. their life has been revolved around their children. So now they don't even know who each other is. I mean, I've heard this over and over again. Mm -hmm. And they really don't know how to have fun. And this is so much fun. Right? Yeah. Like, right. like, and, and we know that people with kids are really busy too. We talk about that, but we talk right. about the idea that, um, you know, your family is going to be a happier unit if you're happier as a couple. And, and again, make it work for you. Take responsibility for your own happiness. If you're really busy, make it last a little bit longer and do them in two weeks at a time or something. But you know, there still has to be putting yourself first. And a lot of our friends with kids really talked about that too, is that they have to find time alone and together. And yeah. this this project is about the two of you and every activity is just the two of you. So right. it's kind of that guideline. But you brought up such a good point of people who they're, mm -hmm. they're empty nesters and their kids have left and they're right. kind of fresh. And this would be such a like fun handbook to like, okay, let's recharge what we right. Yeah, well, really yeah, I mean, this is everybody in every aspect of their life, of their relationship, this fits. I mean, who doesn't want to have fun? Yeah, I mean, exactly. life gets so draining at times and so, ugh, that, you know, to have a date night where you're going, okay, what are yeah. we doing this week? I yeah, mean, and we hope people do it that way, like they don't peek ahead. Yeah. We really hope that people right. are like, let's explore this together and let it be new and exciting. Like make it exciting that you open up to the chapter and it's like, what, what the heck are we going to be doing this week? You know, right, like, right, and not right. know and mm -hmm. discover that together. I think yeah. that would be. Is there, is there, is it, there a reason that the chapters come in the sequence that they do? Yeah, we, we definitely tried to weigh them out. Uh, like I was saying before to where, um, you know, it kind of alternates between ones that are a little more lighthearted or easy or less time consumptive and then ones that could be like a little more emotional or more time consumptive or just right. uh, just yeah. harder. Yeah. So um, we definitely tried to design it in that way. Uh, but I mean, really, if couples wanted to put them in a different order, you know, whatever works for you, you know. <laughs> yeah. uh, or if you but, wanted to do second time and change it up or something yeah, yeah. sounds yeah. like a, i'm very excited about it because cool. <laughs> we're going back to the states you know and <laughs> so it could get it could get a little rough <laughs> right? yeah. so a book like this might really and have us engage in some fun times which would be like yeah. Cool. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah so where can people find, oh, I want to ask you a question before I ask this one. The, the title, Project 128, is there any significance to, to that? Just, just the idea that it's a project between the two of you guys that you're working on together, and it's just the idea of one love, two people, eight weeks. Oh, so I love that. Oh, good. I'm glad you, because I, I knew there had to be something to it, Denise. Yeah. There's nothing that you do that that has not meaning. So yeah. <laughs> right. I, I, I knew that there had to be something. I love that. That's fantastic. Yeah. Um, I love that. Okay. It really does my heart good, I have to tell you. Um, <laughs> well, also, like, if we want to purchase Project 128 book, where do we purchase it? Is it Amazon? Or will you have some public signings in Astoria? Or maybe I see you both yeah. doing that. I see you it's, both doing that. It's like everything that we do, we're just kind of going by the seat of our pants. Yes. So we just, it was an idea that 
idea and we finally started doing it. And then like every adventure we've been on or every move we've done or every new business, we just learn as we go. So um, we're going to self-publish through Amazon to start and um, hopefully, and then also do where you can, um, you can do a digital download or you can order okay. it printed. So you can decide which way you want to do it. Um, okay. And then eventually, I mean, certainly if someone wanted to pick it up, a publisher and publish it, we'd be open to that. And if we want to do some prints and see if some local bookstores are interested, that might be a direction we move into. Um, I know that um, we are, you know, it's really important to us that we add, our whole intention was to just add to the positivity of, right. you know, and love in the world. And so part of that is we're donating a dollar of every sale to the book to um, one of four nonprofits that um, help, I don't know what's the best way to describe what they are. So it's four different nonprofits that we're working on. We're not gonna quite reveal yet or different ones that are already yeah. out there. But they're yeah. ultimately about um, helping um, people, whether it's children or people um, that have been affected by domestic violence um, because ultimately this is about communicating and getting people because I think a lot of times like we said it's not about the love's not there it's that that they don't know how to talk and we've, we've right. been and we know what that's like and how frustrating that can be and a relationship doesn't have to be that concept of there's a thin line between love and hate it really doesn't and if you get rid of that ego and you figure out how to communicate it can change and so um, yeah, so the four nonprofits, so it will split be split up evenly between the four. But so a dollar from every book will be going to one of those four nonprofits that support children and victims of domestic violence. Yeah, and really just ones that encourage a positive family dynamic. And, yeah. Uh, that's what we're Perfect. that's what we're trying to encourage in the world. So we want to help support other people that are trying to do that too. And like Denise was saying, just increase the overall positivity in the world because there's a lot of negative vibes out there too that I think sometimes need to be counterbalanced, you know. Exactly. So. Yeah. And we believe it's a fallacy that there's like not healthy relationships or that everybody's unhappy or the way they represent couples on sitcoms we think are ridiculous. Like there's yes. so many stereotypes <laughs> that are just not true. Like that, you know, so yeah. we, I that think. That men are dumb and <laughs> women are bitchy and all the things. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. They yeah. really hate yeah. each other. They don't want to have sex. Like all these things, like, and it's like so not true. And it's not the case of our lives. And it's not the case of a lot of people we know. And so we just want to kind of break that idea up and show that it's like, most people aren't like that and are really doing, just doing their best. And this is just a way to people who are doing their best and working hard and just giving them like I said, a, a little like push and help to like explore things together. Well, I think you're right in that respect is that we all come from a different background and a different story. And, you know, some people learn to communicate very openly in their families and some people just did not mm -hmm. and they have no idea how to do it. And then when, you know, something goes wrong, all, they turn to anger immediately. So, you know, it, I think it's, it's a really nice, um, opening for people to discover really that they are, like you say, everybody really does the best they can. And, and anything I believe about us can be fixed or changed if we really do want it. Mm -hmm. We have to really want it. And exactly. I don't even want to say, I don't want to say fixed. I want to say changed because I mean, over my life, I've looked at myself a number of different times and said, you were really screwed up over there. <laughs> you, you, know, you need to do something. You know, and how many times do we say that or even have the knowledge to say that? You know, yeah. some of us don't. So I love the way that it can start with families that are, um, you know, in domestic violence. I mean, I've been in one of those families. I totally get it. And it wasn't that the person was bad or awful or wrong. He just didn't know how to, he didn't know how to communicate. And that's really what it was. Mm -hmm. So. You know, just to be able to go from that end of the spectrum all the way across the board is really a lovely thing. It's not specific, in my opinion, at all. It's really for everyone, every relationship, every couple, even even a person that's maybe on their own that needs is looking for somebody and is sort of 
you know, within themselves, why not open the book and have fun? You know, why not look at your own self and have a relationship with yourself, which was what we need to do first, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. So. And it's interesting that you say that because I've never really thought of that, but I mean, I certainly thought that anyone could approach it, but you, yeah. you could do some of these activities of exploration of learning about yourself because a lot yes. of them are about learning about the other person, um, mm -hmm. which comes back to that idea of, you know, we have a whole chapter that's really about your childhood and because we bring so much baggage from our youth and the way we our parents represented marriage and um, yeah. good and bad and the way we learned how to communicate. So if we can have this respect and um, an appreciation for where each other came from, it makes it a lot easier to learn how to talk to one another. So there's a lot of that, but you could certainly apply that to just yourself or learning how to talk to other people. And yeah. So. Absolutely. I love the I love the diversity of the book. You know, I'm very excited about it. I think. And have I told you guys that I love you guys? I mean, you are. Oh, man. It's kind of like if I told you lately that I love you. I mean, geez. <laughs> this, is, this, this is really just really fantastic. And I wouldn't I mean, when you told me just briefly about the book, I was thinking, oh, gosh, I mean, it had me on pins and needles because I know that both of you are so creative and so amazing um, with your thinking and, and your beliefs. And, and just, I just, you know, I just am so excited for both of you in this, this whole endeavor. When can, when is the book going to be released? Well, our goal is yeah, May 1st. May We're 1st. shooting for May 1st. Oh, yeah. soon. Uh, yeah. yeah. So we got a lot of work to do before then, but um on denise's website which is denisestatus.com uh, we have a page about the book and i think it's going to turn into like a blog page or just an update sort of page yeah well you but, can go there and just says project 128 and then you can subscribe i just did it where you can subscribe to the newsletter nice. so that we can if you're watching this and you're interested in like hey when's it going to come out or keep me posted Wait. just sign up for the newsletter and then that way we can send a newsletter out just letting you know when it's released um, yes. And then talking a little bit more about it and also letting people know what the four nonprofits are that we're going to be donating the money to, um, you know, a dollar from each book. So, um, yeah, so go to newsfatus.com and just go to the section Project 128 and just add, all you all ask for is your email. That's all you have to provide. And then that way we can just keep you posted. Um, we, I mean, May 1st is the goal. So we're really hoping to reach so that exciting. and have it out. And, um, we're excited. I mean, it's totally out of our comfort zone, but everything we do is out of our comfort zone. <laughs> I agree. So I agree, but that's the, that's the only way, to, in my opinion, once you go out of your comfort zone to build confidence and structure and love for yourself. I mean, that's what you're supposed to do. So I love that you've done this. And I, I'm looking at the, at the Facebook Live, and Michelle Pauls Mott said, you guys are awesome. I don't know who that is, but maybe you guys know her. She's my devil cousin, and she's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's great. And then Lori Peach Marsh says, you two look great. So great that you're putting your energy into something so awesome. Uh, thanks, well, Lori. Thanks, Lori. <laughs> yeah. So you have fans, big fans all over. Awesome. And I, I just can't wait to see how how this is all going to turn out, because I, I know that both of you um, don't do anything halfway. And um, it's really all the way or nothing. And um, so I have one more question before we go. Now, sometimes, you know, the woman's going to pick up the book more than likely, I will say. And the woman's going to say, oh, I'm going to take this home and my husband and I are going to do this or my boyfriend or I or my partner, or whatever. What if someone wants to talk to a male in this? Are they able to get a hold of Shane? Yes. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I think, okay. um, yeah, through the through that same link or whatever. Okay, but perfect. You know, obviously, we're uh, close, we're so it, it comes yeah. through that would want to be, you know, directed at me. Absolutely, I'm I'm here to, you know, answer questions or be supportive Good. or whatever in that regard. And um, and his voice is totally in it too. We tried to approach yeah. it each and both of us, so it's both right. perspectives and. I mean, like we said, you would find anybody. You can be, you know, you don't have to be in just a heterosexual relationship. There's certainly whatever Absolutely. your relationship looks like. It totally applies. And 
Um, and it's, it, I mean, it applies. I think that I really think that whatever type of personality you are, you'll find something in it that's exciting and fun. Like it doesn't feel limiting in any way. So yeah, yeah, and that's awesome like you were that saying, both of you. Yeah, I agree with you that you know it probably will be more women who pick yeah. up the book or buy the book or who instigate the book in their relationship. But hopefully, right. um, you know, after going through one or two chapters, the men will be just as on board as yeah. the women, you know, or, you know, I say men and women, but just one partner or the other. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They'll be on board, you know, as just as much so after doing one or two, they'll be like, oh, this is great. Let's, yeah. you know, let's and there's some, on. there's some fun, sexy stuff in there too. So it's, oh, it's a cool <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's exciting. I think it's all exciting. I think it's very wow. cool. And I love, yeah. I love the fact that you guys have done this and, and you do it from the heart. And that's always what, I, what I've known it to be um, since knowing you and, and since knowing you also, Shane. I, I know that you both come from there. And, and um, it just does my heart good to know that you're not only writing a book, but you're also giving a portion of the proceeds to uh, nonprofits because that's really how we become better people, you know, volunteering or you know, doing something where part of our business, we give a stipend or a little bit to somebody else to make a difference. So thank you both for doing that. And I want to tell you all that if you want to know more information about um, Denise and Shane, I do have a um, guest uh, tab that you can go on to and I have all their information there. I have um, their website, I have Denise's website, I have Land and Wire on there too, because you never know if you're in Astoria or Oregon that you may need Land someone like Shane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people can certainly email me through landandwire.com and uh, you know, I'm available through that as well. So. Perfect, perfect. So, and my, my website is www.kathybacon.com, so easy. You just go on there and it's all comprehensive of my guest. I'm really about my guests and uh, who they are in the world and how they come across and tell their story. And, and you guys have told your story beautifully. And not only have you told it beautifully, but now you're putting it all into action to show other people how to have fun and how to uh, have a really have a really invigorating relationship, I think. When you said there's some sexy stuff in there, I thought I'd throw in invigorating. Um, so. <laughs> well, um, thank you so much for having us. And yeah, thank we, you. I mean, I am so such a fan of yours, and I so appreciate everything that you do and put out to the world. And you've always been such a huge support to me and to Shane, and we just really appreciate it. And it's great that you um, asked us to do this because it's, it's also now making us put it out there. We're kind of private yeah. people, and it's been really scary to even release the fact that we're doing this. So it's a little bit of our coming out, I guess, about the book. And, uh, yeah. um, and it will now force us not to quit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't quit now. So, yeah. <laughs> and just thank you so much. And thank yeah. you to everybody who's watching oh, and supporting yeah. us in any way. It, oh, I mean, oh, oh. before we go, we have another person. Sam Nelson okay. says, you are such amazing people, and I can't wait to see how everyone else responds as they see your beautiful light. So creative, caring, thoughtful, and vulnerable. It is so beautiful. And uh, Shannon, who I know is your best friend in life, says, so exciting, Denise and Shane. You guys are an inspiration. So well, uh, yeah. I love them both, and that Sam Nelson is actually probably Stacy, who's my other best friend. So Stacy and uh, Shannon, who I love. Them both. Yeah, I know that you yeah. have so many supportive friends, so many supportive yeah. friends, and um, it's really yeah. wonderful to see that and stand behind you. Because gosh, this is a great project. I don't think you have any idea what's going to happen in the months to come. You may be a famous author, for all I know, and then, geez, I can say I knew you'd win. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Thank you, Kathy. Thank Aww. you so much. Thank you, Thank you so much. Please keep watching support Kathy, because she's been so awesome, and this adventure that she's doing is just showcasing people, and what better way to spend your time and invest it. And we acknowledge that and think it's awesome. So thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, all. Thank you.
Thank you all for watching What's Your Story. Again, tune in every Tuesday night in the States. It could be seven, it could be eight, it could be nine, it could be 10 in your time zone, but tune in because every week there's people that make a difference that mean something in the world and you should know them if you don't and that's why I'm introducing them to you. So take care everyone and have a lovely evening. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.